Welcome, my name is Robin. Good evening. Welcome to yoga. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. I just thought I would have a short sequence or a similar practice to what I do in the evenings, um, but a little bit shorter. We get started in a comfortable seat. You can sit on a block if you have a block handy at home. You can sit on a cushion or a pillow, just something to elevate your hips so that they're above your knees. You can use a mat, you can be on your carpet, you can use a towel. Find a long spine. And then maybe close your eyes. Start to tune in. Notice what you feel in your body and in your mind. We all have a lot going on. In this uncertain time, if you have a lot of thoughts going in your mind right now, take a deep breath in and an open mouth exhale, let it go. Let's do that again. Big breath in and release. Good. And you can keep going like that or you can seal your lips. Perhaps start to come into your yogic breath. Breathing in and out of your nose. If that feels comfortable, with just a gentle constriction in the back of your throat. Feel your whole torso expand as you inhale, your collarbones lift. And then as you exhale, you soften, your ribs knit in, your navel pulls into your spine. Taking slow and steady breaths. Letting your breath help to center you, ground you. Focus you on your mat, in your body. A word that has been coming up for me recently is serenity. Do you think of when you hear that word? Perhaps you think of George from Seinfeld, Serenity Now. Maybe it brings a smile to your lips. Or perhaps you think of the Serenity Prayer, something close to my heart. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just let that settle in whatever feelings, thoughts come up. And a few more slow and steady breaths.
And then with your eyes still closed or soft, bring your hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra, and set an intention for your practice. A word, a phrase, for me is going to be serenity. Deep breath in, and then release. Good. Blink your eyes open, release your hands to your lap. Good evening. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Keep your shoulders nice and soft. Drop your chin to your chest, and then roll to the other side, keeping your collarbones broad. Again, chin to chest, roll to the right, maybe pause, gently rock your head, whatever feels good. You can add on here by placing a weight of your hand on your head, your right hand, maybe reaching your left arm out to the side, not forcing it. One more breath. And if your arm is extended, release it back. If your hand is on your head, use it to help you lift your head back up. Let's go to the other side. Left ear, left shoulder, maybe gently rocking your chin. Seeing what feels like it needs some release. Maybe extending the right arm, maybe taking the left hand to your head. Noticing your breath. Noticing your thoughts, whatever comes up, just acknowledge. And then like clouds in the sky, maybe watch them drift on by. Your arm is extended, release it back to your lap. Use your hand to lift your head up, roll your shoulders. And then reverse, good. And then make your way to all fours. Wrists under shoulders, I'll turn to the side, knees under hips. Pulling your belly, draw your shoulders away from your ears. On your exhale, press the floor away, round your back, tuck your chin to your chest. And on your inhale, lift your tailbone, open up your front body, cow pose. Again, exhale round, press the floor away. Inhale, open. You can keep going like this, or you can add in circles. Wag your hips, tuck your toes, see what feels nice. Taking a few more breaths. Exploring movement and breath. And then find your way back to neutral. Stretch that right leg back. Keep the ball of the foot on the mat, shift forward and back. Feel a nice stretch in the back of the leg. I've been doing a lot of walking. Maybe lift that leg up to hip height with your shoulders over your wrists. 
flexing the foot, getting really long. And then draw that knee in towards your elbow, maybe up towards your shoulder, and then extend it back. Again, exhale, hug it in using your core and reach it back one more and send it back. And then draw the knee in towards your chest and step it in between your hands. If you have blocks, you can take your hands to blocks, or you can tent your fingers up. Your right knee is over your ankle. If you're not on your um, left knee, you're a little bit in front. Pause here, and then come up to your thigh. Pulling in your belly, opening up through your chest, feeling a nice stretch in your hip. Feeling the breath. And stay here or reach your arms up, goal post. Make some circles. I'm going backwards here. One more. And then reach your arms up. Place them back down to your blocks or to the mat. Step the knee back. We're going to do the other side. First, extend that left leg back. Follow the foot on the mat. You can take your hands to the mat to start. Shift forward and back. Awakening the back of the leg. Achilles, your calf. And then with your shoulders over your wrist, lift up the leg to hip height. Pulling in your belly, drawing your shoulders away from your ears. Could stay here, your neck in line with your spine. Or as you exhale, draw your knee in towards your elbow, maybe to your shoulder, and reach it back. Again, exhale, hug in. Inhale it back. One more, hug it in, these tiger crunches. Inhale, extend. And then maybe with your hands on your blocks, draw that knee in towards your face and step it and softly in between your hands. Setting it up, maybe patting up your back knee or doubling up your mat. Your back toes can be tucked under or flat. Come up to your thigh. Press into the thigh, pull in the belly, lengthen the tailbone. Feel a nice stretch in your right hip. Focusing on your breath. Stay right here, feeling a nice stretch in the front of the hip. Or you can add on by reaching your arms up, maybe goal post, widen from elbow to elbow. And this time circle forwards if you went backwards or go back again. Your choice. Loosening up through your shoulders, your chest. One more. And then maybe reach your arms up. Place your hands back down on the mat or the blocks. Step back to all fours. You can use your blocks for down dog or you can set them to the side. Wing out your elbows to the side and then wrap your elbows back in towards your body so your chest is nice and wide. I have my index finger facing forward. My wrist creases lined up to the short end of my mat are spread. Open up through the collarbones, tuck the toes, lift the knees, and send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Maybe pedal the heels, maybe shake the head. And lift both heels up and lower them down. They don't have to touch the mat, but feel the energy reach out through the heels. Maybe you can even lift up your toes, engaging the fronts of the legs. 
one more breath here. And then look forward to your hands. Take your time to walk forward. Take a half lift, lengthen your spine. Your hands can be on blocks or your shins. And exhale, fold. Roll up to stand. Pulling in your belly. Samasitihi, equal standing pose. Feel the earth beneath your feet. Peek down at your feet. Your feet can be any distance apart that feels supportive. I'm going to have my feet right under my hips. Lift up your toes, spread them apart, and then one at a time, replant them back down. Good. Let's do that again. Lift them up and then plant them back down. Nice. Scoop in your belly, lengthen your tailbone. See if you can grow another inch taller. Inhale, reach your arms up. Maybe they touch, maybe they're shoulder distance. You can look up if that's comfortable for your neck or look straight ahead. Big breath in and exhale, fold. Your arms can go straight down. They can go swan dive. They can be in prayer. Relax your head. Inhale, half lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands down, step back to plank. If you've taken my classes, you know I love plank. You can always drop to your knees here. But you're pulling in your belly. Your shoulders are away from your ears. You're wrapping your triceps still in towards your body. So the eyes of your elbows face forward. And you're breathing. One more breath. And then lower your knees if they're not. Untuck your toes. Lower all the way down. Inhale, peel your chest up. You can stay low with a nice long neck. Press into your hands. Reach your heart forward for cobra with your thighs down or up dog with your, just your hands and feet on the mat. Feel your heart pull forward through your arms. Feel your breath. One more here. And take another inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. You can roll over your feet. You can come through all fours first. You can replace down dog with child's pose or come back to all fours and take cat cow. One more breath here. And then inhale, lift your right leg up high behind you, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open your hip, and circle your ankle or that whole leg. Lubricating through the hip, trying to square your shoulders, reversing the direction if you haven't yet. And then inhale, straighten the leg, and exhale, draw your knee in towards your face. Your hands can be on blocks. And step your foot in between your hands. Pause here. Right knee over your ankle. And straighten your leg any amount, drawing that right hip crease back. And bend. Straighten. And bend. One more. Straighten. And bend. Your back leg is nice and engaged. Or you can lower that knee down. You can take your hands to blocks or to the mat. Press your left hand down. Take your right hand to your hip. Peel your chest to the right. Stay here. Or reach that right arm up. Turning your torso. Steady breath. One more. And then exhale, lower that hand down. Good. Pause. And then you can stay up on the back foot for a high lunge, or you can drop the heel for warrior one. I'm gonna stay up on the ball of the foot. Come up to your thigh, your hips, your heart, or reach your arms up. Big breath in, 
Big breath out. Sweep your arms back behind you, palms down. Open up through your chest. Maybe clasp your hands behind you. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Another inhale. And exhale your hands back down to the blocks if you want to use them for a down dog or to the floor. Step back to plank. Lift your hips to downward facing dog or take a vinyasa, lowering down to your belly or chaturanga. Inhale onto your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, lift your left leg up. Open your hip, bend your knee. You can circle just your ankle or that whole leg. In each direction, whatever feels good. And then inhale, straighten the leg. And exhale, draw it in towards your nose and step it in between your hands. Your hands can come to blocks or tent up on the mat. Left knee over your ankle, pulling your heart forward, strong through the back leg. And then start to straighten your leg, drawing that left hip crease back and bend. Straighten and bend. One more, straighten and bend. Keep the bend. Press into your right hand. Take your left hand to your hip. Start to turn and twist to the left. And you can stay right here. You can lower the back knee. You can reach the arm up. Maybe you're looking up or maybe you're looking down for more balance. Another inhale and exhale your hand back down, pause. Setting it up for a high lunge or a warrior one. Taking your time to come up, maybe place, placing your hand on your knee, your hips. Maybe reaching your arms up, shoulder distance or even together. Find your balance, hug your inner thighs to the midline. And then sweep your arms back behind you, opening up through your chest, maybe clasping your hands with the other pinky on top. Big breath in, big breath out. One more. And then take an inhale and exhale your hands back down. Step back to plank. Go right to down dog or your vinyasa. Two more breaths here. One more breath. And then look forward to your hands, step or Maybe hop forward, take a half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reverse swan dive or roll up. And exhale, your hands through your heart to your sides. We're gonna just do one balanced posture. Root down through your left foot. Lift up your right heel. Open the hip, tree pose. You can stay here your foot grounded or to your lower leg. You can slide it up to your upper leg. Just don't press on your knee. Hugging your outer hips, pulling your belly. Maybe hands come to prayer. Find something to look at, a focal point. And then maybe grow branches up, out to the side, behind your back. Let your breath help you balance. Prayer. 
bring your knee forward and release and shake it. Other side, lift up the left heel, open the hip, external rotation, squeezing that left glute. Stay down, you can come up higher. Opening the hip, pulling in the belly, finding your focal point, maybe growing your branches. Seeing where your balance is, being okay. If you fall out, come right back. One more breath. And take your hands back to prayer. Draw your knee forward and exhale, release and shake. Maybe take some hip circles and reverse it. Good. We're gonna flow down to the floor. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step back to plank. Pause. Lower to your forearms. Forearm plank. Pause here. You can drop to your knees. Your forearms are making the number 11. You're pressing into your elbows, your forearms. Your elbows are under your shoulders. You're wrapping your shoulder blades around your back. Widening through your chest. Scooping that belly in. Your neck is nice and long. I'm looking at you, but just look straight down or a little bit in front. One more breath here. And then lower your knees. If they're not, untuck your toes. Pull your heart forward for Sphinx Pose. So if it's too much in your back to be up so high, you can lower down. You can also draw your elbows a little bit away from your body. more breath. And then lower all the way down. You can stack your hands and rest your forehead on your hands. You can turn your cheek to one side. You wiggle your hips or windshield wiper your legs. And then straighten your legs. All 10 toenails are on the mat. Take your hands back by your hips. I'm having my palms down, but they could be up or in towards the body. Scooping in the belly, pressing your pubic bone down, lengthening through the legs. Inhale, lift your chest. Keep your gaze down, your neck long. If all feels good, lift up your legs getting really long in your spine, maybe reaching the arms up with the palms down like we did in, in high lunge, or maybe taking your hands behind your back and interlacing, opening up through your chest, feeling that energy in your body. Doesn't matter how high up you get, but really lengthen the spine from the crown of the head out through the toes. Another inhale and exhale, lower down. Maybe other cheek to the mat. Windshield wiper your legs. You could repeat the previous posture or hold on to your ankles. Draw your knees towards one another. Bring your nose right to a hover above the mat. And then I'm going to flex my feet to start. Kick your feet into your hands. Lift up, bow pose. Maybe your thighs lift. No pain in your back. If it's too much, go back to the previous or have a stringless bow. You can also point your ankles here. Two more breaths. One more. And inhale and exhale lower down windshield wiper
And then straighten your legs, tuck your toes, place your hands right underneath your shoulders. We're going to be coming up to um, all fours. You can just lower the knees to do that, or you can press into your hands the balls of your feet, lift up to chaturanga, lift up to plank, and then lower your knees. Good. Press your ankles, swivel your hips through, straighten your legs. Notice how you feel, notice your posture. And we're going to do this type of um, stretch in a Shavasana with our legs up. So this is um, Paschimottanasana or a caterpillar in yin yoga. We're going to do against the wall. So if you have a wall, you could do that or you could just lie down for Shavasana on your back. Bring your hip really close up to the wall. And then swivel onto your back. And you can always, I left my blocks, but you can always place a block or a bolster underneath your pelvis. And your legs could be any distance apart that feels supportive. Feel the earth beneath you, beneath you. Feel your long spine. If you're using a block or the bolster, adjust it so that maybe the tip of your tailbone is off of it. And your arms could be down by your sides. You could take one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. Feeling your breath. You can also reach your arms over your head or take opposite elbows. If you have a way to soften the lights, Alexa, lights off. Just slowing down your breath. Noticing what comes up. Perhaps coming back to that intention. Maybe it was serenity or something else. Just noticing how you feel now. After being on your mat. Connecting with your body, your breath. For me personally, yoga saves me every day. Every day I come to my mat in the evening, sometimes in the morning as well, depending on when my little one wakes up. It helps me to focus. Just notice what is important. What are my blessings? No matter what else is going on. You could stay here for as long as you need. This is a great posture before bedtime, five to ten minutes. It helps with insomnia. Or if you're ready to come out, roll to one side, walking your feet down, pausing. You can always 
just take a traditional Shavasana or if you're ready to conclude your practice come to a comfortable seat Sukhasana easy seat or lotus or have your legs straight feel your sitting bones notice if you need to sit on the block maybe take your hands to prayer May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you just be. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Let me know what you think, what kind of practices you would like. I hope to see you in person soon, but until, until then, I'm, I am here.